Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's gonna be kind of a sad vlog or video. Um, I think it's been today about the second day that I am without a very special animal that I've had for about seven and a half years. As you guys know, I have done a video of all about my guinea pig, Rosemary. Um, on March 2nd, I came home from school and I found her dead in her cage. It's really hard to talk about, but it's a quite and but all it ha this is all it happened. I woke up March second to go to school and I fed her and I made sure she was all good for the day so when I was gone. So to come home, my dad picks me up from school and I come home, I help dad cut wood for because we use wood as our energy and stuff. Um and I go to the store, buy some stuff for supper for my mom can finish making supper. And as we do so it just it happens so fast. Came, went to the store, came home, helped my dad fix the brake lights on my mom's car, and had supper, and it was like all good and everything, took care of the dishes and stuff. Came upstairs, and usually I would turn my light on, and she would start squeaking and climbing out of the cage. And she didn't. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. She never, never ever does anything quiet. She's always a loud guinea pig. As you know, I still have a cage over there. I really haven't had the energy to take care of all this stuff. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So I had to take a little break. I was getting emotional. But anyways, yeah, she's been gone for about two days now. Today, I think, is March 4th. Um, she lived a long life. Um, she lived, we've had her for about seven and a half years, and she was about nine months when we got her, so she lived over 14, no, not 14, why am I thinking 14? Over eight years, and guinea pigs usually last from seven to eight years. Yeah, I came home and found her dead laying up against her food bowl and everything like that. And I go to touch her and she was all stiff and yeah. At least I have a video from her and I can 
go back and watch it and remember her of how she was. Um. I'm crying. You guys know Tess on my videos I sometimes do. Um, she's the one that taught Rosemary to give kisses. And every time we would go and pick her up, she would give us kisses. And it would be hard now because... I still have a whole cage to clean out and things to do with her house and stuff. And her food. As you guys probably do know, I still... We do still have another guinea pig. It was her sister's in the first place. When we got... Rosemary, they came from the same cage and everything. Squeakers is still alive, which is in the other room, but Rosemary is gone. Um, we're going to be burying her this weekend in the yard somewhere. I'm gonna take another break, okay. Anyways, she was a female KV. She lived with us for seven and a half years. Um, I was a three year champion with her in a row for 4 H. She was a amazing guinea pig. Every night I would go to bed and me, the dog, and Rosemary would all cuddle in the bed, the same bed I'm in right now. And I would thank God that we're all alive, but she's not here anymore. And it's hard. It's, it's really hard. It was when I came up and found her dead in her cage and I knew that now, cause now she didn't have to look at the pain that she was in because for a couple months before she went she was having breathing problems and she couldn't breathe fully that's not what I mean But the whole thing is just trying to stay positive, and I know you guys can do it too. But it's really hard when you lost. Like you guys, this is my first animal that has died when I that I've had. As you guys know, I am very attached to the dog. And I can't imagine me losing my animal, my dog, because well, I love dogs. I just, I can't imagine losing any dogs, especially Susie. You guys probably know, I believe I've done a video on all about my dog, and 
I'm just I'm thankful that I do videos, especially right now because I've lost Rosemary. And I'm about to end this video and I wanna go back and watch it and I will be in point in tears because she was a great guinea pig. Even though people might say that, oh, she's just a guinea pig. Well, you guys will probably be in the same situation I would be in right now if you've gotten attached to any of your animals. If you guys have any animals right now and you guys are living with them and you guys get attached, imagine them dying all of a sudden and finding them dead. Like, especially having hard times already at school, and you just want to go home and cuddle with them, and they're dead. It's hard. It's really hard. But I want you guys to know that I want to try and be keep posting videos. Even though it will be hard. Because she will no longer be in any of our videos. Um. I will try to leave a link in the description below. Of the video with her. If you... If I don't, that means it's, it just, you can go to my channel and look at the videos and scroll down or search for all about my guinea pig or something. I think it was how it was, but I want you guys to know that I am not quitting YouTube for this. It will be hard and everybody goes through the hard things. And this is just one thing that I am going through right now, and it's going to be hard. But I'm not going to quit because I really, I know everybody goes through hard things. And no one basically quits for these little things. So, but I am just sharing my life with you guys, and it's just one of these things that happen. And nothing lives forever. And that's what I have to remember, that nothing will live forever, especially my dog. I had to go to school on Friday, which was the very last, the very next day after she passed away, and it was a very hard day. It was really hard for you to come home and not be able to see her at all. And I know that I have a couple more years with my dog as well, but if my dog dies in a couple of days, it's going to be really hard. And don't expect me to film like a couple of days after that because especially if it's my guinea pig and then my dog, it won't happen. It won't. No. Let me have a couple of days off and get used to this. Like I said, it's been two days right now and it's still hard. So, I want to thank you guys for standing up and being next to me and being by my side the whole time. So, oh, I want to thank you guys for everything. I know today was a sad video, but... And sorry for my hair, but oh my god. It's, it's life, you guys. It's life. Everything happens for a reason, and no one lives forever. Just remember that. Everything happens for the best. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope that you guys continue support, continue to support me on everything else that happens. Um, thank you so much.
um, I'm gonna end this video now and go look at and watch the video from my guinea pig. You know, you guys are one of a kind. You guys are awesome. You guys are. You guys are amazing by yourself. Just remember that, and I am sorry for anybody. And I know how everybody feels when they lose an animal that they have been really attached to. I didn't know it before, but now I do, and I regret it kind of. It hurts. It does leave a dent in your heart, but everybody will get through it in a time. I'm gonna start crying again. But, goodbye guys, have a good day, and I will see you guys in my next video.